Hey guys, it's Nick. I'm here on Junction Boulevard in Corona on a Sunday afternoon in August. I'm going to take a walk around, see what's going on, see what kind of things you can buy on these uh, street vendor stalls over here. You might be surprised at some of the stuff. I'm going to take a look at all the different kinds of foods you can buy out here as well. So let's check it out. So you can buy everything from motorcycles to money. And uh, I don't know if you know, there's a Morgan dollar, there's a peace dollar. How much? Eight dollars. Is this real silver? Is silver? Real? But it would be a lot more than eight dollars if it was real. Maybe half, half. half silver? Half. Ah, okay. But this is supposed to be 90%. Okay, thank you. 90%. <laughs> so, for those people that are not into coins or precious metals, those are supposed to be 90% silver. And uh, the Chinese make very good knockoffs that confuse people. Uh, so, she was selling that for $8 where just the silver content alone on that is around, I don't know, $23, and they'll sell for way above $30, maybe $40 in some some cases. So uh, if it's too good to be true, of course it is, just kind of like these Nikes out here as well. Uh, same thing. They look good, but they are knockoffs. <laughs> So pretty much assume everything out here, if it's a brand name, it's not real. You can buy scooters on the sidewalk, electric scooters. Even an old Mercedes 300 SL. So now let's hit Roosevelt Avenue and see what kind of food they got here. They usually got some real elaborate <laughs> setups of food out here. So cooking like whole hams or turkeys or whatever that is, looks good. Three samples? Oh, thank you. We got a Asian massage parlor covering their face. Those Asian brothels have been getting a lot of heat lady, lately in uh, newspapers, New York Post and stuff like that. So uh, they're trying to keep it kind of hush-hush, I guess. But man, look at this. Nobody 
market. So these trucks are doing a bang of business over here as usual. Man, it is crowded. Alright, let's see what else is out here. More Asian brothels. Let's cross the street and see what's going on over there. So you can buy a mattress or you can try out a bed out on the sidewalk over here. Get some shaved ice. More Asian massage uh, parlors. And I was out here last night around 1.30 or so uh, by 90th Street where most of those are and they're pretty much in the street just you know they're a lot more aggressive at night than they are in the daytime trying to get you to go in there there's another one Some more over here. Man, there's a lot of them out here. Holy moly. Big Nikes. All kinds of tools. Tell me a mop. And this is kind of like a uh, the flea market of I don't know what all kinds of old clothes and household stuff so now we're coming up on the 90th street train station over here and uh, like a block or so past it is where the majority of these places are. These uh, Asian brothels that are just out in the street there and all night long, really. Um, I don't know if people know about this, but I'm gonna talk a little bit about this area back in the 80s and what was going on back then is similar to what's going on right now. Uh, 
So, more food. It's across the street there. So, I don't know if you see all those women hanging out there. But basically, this block is, I guess, kind of ground zero for that. And what's funny is you got the cops parked right here. You got this going on over here. Everybody has their back turned and stuff uh, because they all know there's a lot of heat out here now. Uh, I don't know if these guys are touts or whatever, but uh, it's very organized and obviously the police are looking the other way on purpose, either because the mayor wants it that way or, you know, I don't know, you make your own assumptions. But if you don't know, back in the 80s and early 90s before Giuliani came and really cleaned up these areas, this street here, you see that these buildings are relatively newer compared to all the other buildings over here. Right, these are maybe, I don't know, from the early 80s or something along those lines. So, these buildings, this street here, was known as kind of the ground zero for the area of the same kind of activity back then. Although back then, it was South Americans, it was Central Americans, Mexicans, and all that kind of stuff that worked in these places. Um, but the same kind of thing. They would have their touts out here on the sidewalk, handing out a card with the address of where to go. And sometimes, you know, it wasn't necessarily here. It might have been a few blocks away or whatever. So like they say, history doesn't repeat, but it rhymes. And so right now, Jackson Heights of 2023 is rhyming a lot with Jackson Heights of 1987, 1990. So this whole block really, that you see there's some standing out there, but late at night, uh, they are out and about uh, really aggressive and stuff. Right now they're kind of low key, but at one o'clock in the morning or so, you'll see. And there's plenty of police out here and they know what's up, they're not stupid, but it is, <laughs> that's, how, that's how it is. Until somebody above wants to change that, it's not gonna change. So guys, that's a look at what's going on in Corona and Jackson Heights on a Sunday afternoon. Hope you like this one. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.